Majestic Masood makes magnificent double ton. Derbyshire were determined as they dug in at Lords to deny Middlesex last time out. The same, though, can't be said for Sussex. They slumped to a 10-wicket defeat at home to Nottinghamshire, an opportunity for both of them to taste success for the first time this season. For the hosts, that meant starting with the bat, and it would prove to be a fruitful avenue for them early on. Despite the grey skies overhead, Sussex's bowlers struggled for opportunities as Sean Massoud and Billy Godelman played their way to a 50 partnership after an hour in the middle. That's where Sussex finally found the breakthrough, though. The captain, Godelman, with just 12 off the 55 on the board, strangled down the leg side by Crocombe, a first catch in Sussex Whites for Rizwan. Masood responded by racing his way to a 50, scored off just 60 balls, up to the mark with his seventh boundary, and he made the shot look effortless. At the other end, Masood soon lost another partner. Brooke Guest's contribution 12, another caught down the leg side, much to his frustration. They had 100 on the board soon after, with lunch looming, but Masood was showing no signs of slowing. He was unbeaten on 74 at lunch, the score 108 for 2, Derbyshire off to a decent start. It would be more of the same from Masood on his return to the middle. The partnership with Madsen worth 50 off 70 balls. Next came the 150, an easy single taking Derbyshire to the landmark figure. And then the moment that had looked almost a given from the start of play. Adding a first century for Derbyshire to his twin 50s from the first round of fixtures, it was quite some start by the Pakistan international Shan Masood. He'd scored the lion's share of the runs when a single from Madsen took the value of the third wicket to 100. Madsen overcame an injury to stick with Masood and retained the best seat in the house to watch him reverse Coles to the ropes to bring 200 up for the hosts. When hobbling around earlier, Madsen would have doubted whether he'd get there, but a 50 was his with an emphatic stroke to the boundary for four, his third in a 112 ball effort. That would be the last of the action from the second session. T taken, with Derbyshire cruising at 237 for two, and Masood just four away from 150 runs. Soon after the pause in play, the third wicket was worth 150, with a single off Finn from Masood. But the Derbyshire opener wasn't done there. Another single was enough to take him to a well-made 150, another landmark in a quite brilliant innings. The milestones kept coming. Madsen went over the top for four to put 250 runs on the board for his side. They were making this look easy. A push into the offside brought up the 200 partnership, a dominant display from the Derbyshire duo. 300 runs went up on the scoreboard, a long day in the field taking its toll on slumping Sussex shoulders. Few players have started the season in as good touch as Sean Massoud, and he proved that point. A double hundred was his, with the four guided beautifully to the boundary. It was a new highest score in first-class cricket for the opener on just his second game for Derbyshire. And he'd still be there come the start of play on day two, alongside Wayne Madsen, both men unbeaten. Time called on the day with a score 327 for two, and the home side well on top. Just how far Massoud can go remains to be seen.